in the den with the TRU Wolfpack. Many athletes compete their entire careers without ever getting the opportunity to play for a championship. For the four graduating members of the Wolfpack men's soccer team, they know that they're going to have that chance hosting the U Sport Nationals next month. Saturday was the final regular season fixture for the TRU Wolfpack men's soccer squad this year. And for the four graduating players, it was the last of their career. Ryan Glanville, Alan Connor, Brandon Mendez, and Colton Walker suited up for their final time in Canada West regular season action, which brought the memories flooding back. I feel like it's been forever, but um, I remember the first time I played, I was terrified. And the coaches looked me in the eye and said, don't worry about it, just do what you can, and, and we'll be happy what you do, right? For Ryan Glanville, the path back to the Canada West playoffs has been a long one. It's been a long, long career, and I don't think I ever saw myself being 33 and finishing off my <laughs> collegiate career the way it did, but it was fantastic. You know, my kids were in the stands, and, you know, my brothers that I suited up with were, you know, right there next to me. Alan Connor and Brandon Mendez both came back to the team this season to play out the final year of their U Sports eligibility after spending time as part of John Antilov's coaching staff. Coming back for their fifth years, um, all those guys have helped us build this program over the last four years. We had a couple, like, first couple years were pretty difficult. They were tough. We knew they were going to be tough. Um, but now they're, they're seeing the fruits of, of all the work that they've put in uh, to make this program where it is, and hopefully we can sustain this over the coming years. While these four athletes won't play another regular season match for the Wolfpack at Hillside Stadium, they will have a chance to earn more prestige for the program as they host the U Sports National Soccer Championships in Kamloops starting in just over two weeks. No matter who you're playing, it can always be a good game, and, and that's what playoffs are all about. Like, if you're playing the last place team in any league, they're going to give you a good run. You know, so they just kind of taught us to be tighter and to be more. Uh, more consistent with our play on the field, I think. Being a young program, I think we keep looking at all these first, right? Like first playoff berth. Um, it'd be nice if we got uh, a host game, obviously. And yeah, it's you just keep wanting to build and, and get to those next levels. And I think, you know, getting into playoffs is big. And now it's looking at how can we get into nationals based off merit, not just because we're hosting. Nothing would be sweeter for the pack than earning their berth into the nationals with a long run through the Canada West playoffs. That journey begins Friday as TRU travels to Saskatoon to take on the Huskies in the Canada West play-in game. Adam Donnelly, CFJC Sports. The Wolfpack and Saskatchewan had similar records this season. Saskatchewan gets the home playoff because of a second place finish in the Prairie Division while the Wolfpack were third in the Pacific. They met once this season with TRU winning 2-1. to one. And as the season winds down in soccer, it is game on for basketball. The Wolfpack will begin their Canada West season this weekend, hosting the McEwen Griffins from Edmonton. As far as the Wolfpack women's team is concerned, there's only one way to go, and that's up. TRU is coming off a 2-18 last place finish in Canada West a season ago. Head coach Scott Reeves brings back a mostly veteran team with only four first years. With only two players over 5'10", they're going to be vertically challenged, which Reeves says they'll have to make up for in other areas. I think we can shoot the ball from three quite well, and I think we can run. I think we're going to play an exciting brand. We're a little bit smaller than some of the teams we face, which um, can create some challenges rebounding, but uh, the stat sheets in the rebounding area in the preseason haven't dictated that we're going to get absolutely killed. So I, I think we're going to play an exciting brand, but we're going to be quick. We're going to shoot a lot of threes. The Wolfpack men scraped into the playoffs at 8 and 12 last season, clinching the final berth. Scott Clark also has a veteran squad with only three first years. But it's the one who's missing that will mean a game changer. Volodymyr Igoriov was the team leader in points per game and rebounds and top six in the conference in both. He played out his eligibility and is now an assistant coach. We're flexible from an offensive perspective. Lots of guys can handle the ball and Lots of guys can shoot the ball. Uh, scoring seems to not be an issue. Um, you know, defending, staying in front of the basketball, those are issues. But really, uh, you know, it's a it's a pretty flexible group, um, and I think that we'll continue to get better and better if we have the correct attitudes. Two years ago, the Wolfpack took Canada West silver and a berth in U Sports Nationals. Is a return to the dance this season possible? You know, the national tournament's in March. We're playing in October right now. 
I think it would be a, mis a mistake to start talking about the national tournament. You know, right now we're trying to win on Friday against Grant McEwen. Watch In the Den, Monday and Thursday on the Evening News. Looking for affordable family entertainment? Enjoy a Wolfpack game and support our future Olympians and leaders of tomorrow. Check out the Wolfpack website for schedules, scores, and news. And catch more TRU Wolfpack on In the Day. Back the Pack with TRU.